I'm pumped up and excited to bring you this message. Had a close friend stay at the house recently. Stayed the night with us. We stayed up late talking. And I had to throw the bullshit flag at him. Had to hit him a little bit. Uh, he's, he was complaining about how bad work sucks. Is he miserable? He can't wait to find something else. Uh, he's not, this is what he's, gonna, he's what he's been doing for a long time. This is what he's going to continue doing. So I had to freaking hit him a little bit. He makes great money. Strong six-figure job. I'm not talking about six-figure. Strong six-figure job. Uh, but, you know, he's always like, everybody's a pain in their butt. Um, people are incompetent. I'm always crunching these spreadsheets. It's just always dealing with something. It was just, they were half-ass excuses. And here in a second, I'm reading you a letter, a, a, mess, a text message that I sent him. And so much of it, it, it was, the words just rolled off my fingers as I was typing the message because you and I serve each other through our messages. And I, I just basically combined a bunch of the messages that I've sent you all, sent you all and I just hit him with like some firecracker pops, man. And it was just, gosh dang it. I, well, here's the thing, the message, the message today is about you don't let people control you, man. Don't let other people's actions take you over. You're in charge. I don't care how bad something is. You can hit the pause button and say, wait a second. I'm not going to let this get to me. I'm not going to let this meeting upset me. The fact that it's not going how I, and I know it needs to be going. I'm going to be the person to freaking bring some life into the situation. I'm going to raise the freaking roof. Um, you know... Everybody that's causing the problem, that maybe they see, gosh dang man, be more like this guy. You be the light at the end of the tunnel that they go towards. Don't feed it. You know, and don't... So you go to work all day and you come home and you're going to be miserable the rest of the day? Sit around, drink beer, and just be miserable? No! Don't let people control you. It's your life. You have the ability every day. I don't care if you don't have two pennies to rub together, or you got to tons of money that's not what it's about don't let people control your spirit your emotions your love the passion that you get we, we all have 24 hours each day and we get to live them with passion and with excitement with high energy and positive attitudes are the are the freaking opposite you know what I want you to do here's the re here's what I wrote my friend you have to let this work BS go man no more of that Let's be honest. You don't have you don't have a strong reason to be stressed about work. You have an awesome gig that 99.9% of people freaking walking the planet would give anything to have. Let that let that stuff go and enjoy the process. Enjoy working through challenges. Thank the good Lord that you have the epic skills that most don't have to skillfully work through big business BS. He's a skillful negotiator, man. He can work through anything. The crazy, you know what can be hitting the fan, and he's awesome at just working through that stuff. He's he's great at socializing with people, networking with people. He's a builder. He just lets people get to him, and he, they drag him down. The, the craziness that would make most people crumble was made for you. Lift people up around you. Don't give them time to be negative because you're bringing so much positive to the situation. Flush negativity down the freaking drain every time and fill your day with positive energy. Hit the pause button before every single work situation. Remind yourself to not let it stress you out and cause negative BS to creep, in, creep into your life. It won't be good for your relationship, your kids, and life in general. Do not let yourself be living for the day when you get to retire and step away from what you're doing now. What he was doing is like, man, I can't, wait to I can't wait to step away from this. I can't wait till retirement. That's terrible. You gotta love each day, man. Freaking pinch the life out of it. When, when when it gets dark and you start getting, it starts getting late, you got to go to bed. You're like, no, I don't want this day to end. It was too awesome. I want to keep it going. Own what you're doing now in such epic fashion that you do just about anything. You do just about anything to keep your job because you love it so much. That's a choice. Maybe tough some days, but you can convince yourself of what I just said. Yeah. This attitude is a choice. And you have to remind yourself to make the right choice every single day before you let your feet hit the floor in the morning. Let's go. It's time to light up the planet. Ah, it's a choice, folks. 
all that crazy stuff that you let yourself think is stressful and bringing you down and all it's just you don't like it right in that moment yes you do you can you can tell yourself you do like it you're, you're gonna be spending that next hour doing this or that or whatever go with it flow with it man make it big help it it can be a moment and you're you can you can Finish your day and look back on that hour and say, my gosh, that was challenging, but I embraced it. Oh, man, I got a lot out of that. I actually provided some lift to people because of me, my attitude, my approach. That's big, man. Don't, don't be the ball and chain tied to somebody's ankle or, the, or tied to a situation. You, be, you come in with the freaking bolt cutters and cut it off so people can soar. Let's go. Much love.